Righty oh Gorgon, what we have here is the Fraser River, Fraser Dam, Pioneer Generation is what it's called now, but it used to be run by Central Electric. Uh, one of the first hydro stations in New Zealand, or one of the first that I know of anyway. Um, the Fraser Hydro Station is a wee pipeline, as you can see, comes there, feeds the... It's only a single, single generator, but that one pipeline comes down the hill up there, comes from miles away, there's a dam way back up the gully in the mountains, the Fraser Dam, about 10 or 15 kilometres in towards the mountain, but that's the pipeline that feeds the Fraser Dam. Right, I could have gone that way, Gordon, but I'm going to go back this way. Because when the Shannon brothers came to Central Otago way back, the gold miners came, of course, the gold miners were just after gold. The Shannon brothers, they came for Scotland or around the And they were going to do become big for gold. All this country around here up to the top of the mountain, you know, 60,000 acres or something, claimed it all as his. And the one where I come from, back on the other side, he took another 30 to 60,000 acres out the other side. And of course, there was one brother, he took out the other way, and he got a bit of land out the other side. I don't know how much land he got out that way. But um, the one on this side, this is where the, the, the main money seems to have come from. Station. And you can tell that the old Scottish here is of course the colony and line here of course is nothing, that's New Zealand icon. But what we have over here is the older the older battlements, the old castle type things. I'll try to zoom in and see if you can see that there's a red brick castle there, the stables. There's another red brick one there. The main house is away in amongst the trees. Used to be able to see it. I don't know whether I can see it anymore. I'll have a look around the corner, but I doubt very much if we can see it. I'll zoom out again, and I'll cruise around the corner. I'll keep holding the camera here, just in case there's a glimpse through the trees that I don't know about. Oh, there it is. There's a glimpse through the trees there. I can just see. See if I can hold it on the zoom here. See if you can see that. Yes, got. Unfortunately, that's the closest I can get you to showing the castle. When, when the Shannon brothers came here, there was not one tree. You wouldn't believe that, would you? In this whole valley, there was no trees. Absolutely none at all. Now, I'll go around the other road. It might be a better look from the other road. I don't know. But yeah, not one tree. The scrubby, scrubby bushes, you know, three or four foot high, five foot high. The briar, of course, and introduced, but the the Madagari bush and the and the other little scrubby bushes, there's, there's nothing to them. 
But of course then the English and the Americans and the, of course the Australians, that's blue gum there. And have a look over here, might be able to see it. Yeah, it looks like they've cleared some trees from this side, so we may, may be able to get a look-see at the castle from here. There's a big tree in the road, of course. Ah, uh, there's a look. There's a look. There's the, there's the battlements around the house. There's the battlements around the house. I'll just steady it up there a bit and see if I can get it any closer. I can't. It won't zoom in anymore, Gorgoon. Sorry about that. But there's the battlements around the house. That's the, um, the local castle. Apparently they don't use the top story now because it's too, um, too far gone and needs to be fully restored. But that's the castle. With the parapets all around. You can, in, the old, uh, in, in the back in the 70s you could actually, it was a, turned into a restaurant sort of thing, a, a home garden, part of the garden group and you could wander all around that. That's it. That's the rest is in trees.